today is Sal's last day of work for the season. And he's just about to get up. Are you awake, Sal? Yeah, I guess so. You ready to go to work for the last day of the season? Yeah. You want me to sing Hi Ho for you? No, that's okay. Hi ho, hi ho, it's off to work, Sal goes. Mm. <laughs> hi ho, hi ho, hi ho, hi ho. Everybody's slumbering by Sal. You ready to go to work, Sal? Sure. Oh, you have... Okay. Good thing it's a little colder, huh? Yeah. It's starting to cool off a little bit. And we finally got the word that Sal would be done with work for the season. And so we can think about heading out of here. So, Sal, you ready for your first day? My first day. You were, he he he, he laid back day. in the bed. You said my first day, Sharon. What? You oh. My first day. <laughs> I mean, you're ready for the last day of work for the season? Yeah. He laid back in the bed. He doesn't look too ready. It's cold. That's why. Yeah, it is kind of chilly. <sighs> Allie's there by you. We actually recorded... We actually recorded some other footage, but it went. It didn't work out because of the sound. I had to change the battery. Are you getting up to go to work? Hey, yeah. turn the light off. Let's show everybody how dark it is still. See, it's still kind of dark. It's just starting to get light. It is 20 to 8. Show you how the cats were snuggling with Sal a little bit ago. All right, we'll let you get ready for work, Sal. Okay. Seymour, you came back? Hello, Seymour. Hmm? Seymour's a good boy. Yeah. Are you chilly, Seymour? Yeah, it's a little chilly, isn't it? I don't think I've ever shown us putting the barrier up before like this. We do that every day. I think every single day we go somewhere. Well, we might have had one day once or twice where we didn't put it up. Yeah. Did we ever have a day where we didn't put it up? I think so. That means we did not exit the RV at all that there day. Yeah, I think there were there were a few days where we didn't go out. We just stayed in. I used to sing that to you sometimes in the morning, didn't I? Yeah. Did you like that? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. See you later, Simo. But not Allie. Where is Allie? Oh, he's over here. I thought he was up there. See you later, Allah. <laughs> Henry reaction. Henry's like, don't touch me. Yep. What are you touching me for? What do you want? Why are you touching me? Oh. Taking the garbage? Yeah. All right, so have a good last have a good last day of the season at work. Okay, I will. Seymour's sitting here watching all the action. Cause that's what Seymour does. He watches all the action. 
see you boys. See you everybody. Alright, I'll see you later. See you later. God willing. Seymour's over here watching. <laughs> you watching, Seymour? He's snooping now too. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. <laughs> All I gotta do is look at you, Henry, and there you go, running in there. Even though he doesn't get treats every time, he gets treats after breakfast and after dinner at night, and once in a while in between. Only because we don't want to give him a lot of junk. Seymour says, oh, give me the junk. But Seymour's on a little bit of a diet, right, Seymour? Oh, so she, you said the bad word now. Don't say diet. No diet for me. But Seymour, we only give Seymour two little pieces of the uh, crumbs. All that stuff there. It's sitting there to block Henry from getting in those cupboards. We actually have the, the kitty things that we're going to put in there. Kitty things. <laughs> they should call them kitty things. I meant K-I-D-D-I-E things. <laughs> but I guess we should call them K-I-T-T-Y things. <laughs> but anyhow, they have the kid, the kid things that you can put on the cupboards so that the, they can't open them. And you can actually screw them you can turn them so that they they um you can turn them so that they can't you can have them like during the day where you can just open your cupboard easily and then for the night or whenever when you're going out you can make it so you close it and it they can't get in the child proof things i'm talking about right henry we got to get child proof things for you mm-hmm I is just here. He's waiting to take another nap. You taking another nap, Ali? Let's see more, Sam. Hmm. Is it time to eat yet? Oh, he heard the word. You like that word, eat, Seymour? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not for another couple hours, okay, Seymour? And Ali says, I'm just going to sleep here. I'm going to relax and stay warm until it warms up. Me and the boys are waiting. And Ali, Ali and Shimo. Hello, Shimo. All done with work? Yeah, now it's just. Now, are you sad? I am. It, it's weird, you know. It's, I think I'm just upset that it is kind of the last day, and it's just you. You do something for so long, and then it's the last day for this season, at least. And that's well. Maybe we could see if he can go back and continue. <laughs> You're funny. I <laughs> now I made my peace with it, and I, I was. I was done. I did everything I had to do. Everything's all set. Okay. All right. Well, we're gonna take the golf cart. Well, make make sure you make sure you dress warmly because it's chilly out there. Okay. We're gonna take the golf cart back, and then we're gonna walk back here. I'm gonna have to buckle up because Sal can be a hot rod. You'd never know it, but yep, he can be a hot rod on the ATV.
Alright, I guess that's it for this season. Yep. It's amazing how you can get emotional about this stuff. It's not even real. I, I, what it's are you not gonna even do? real? I mean, it's not even a real person or anything, and yet I'm kind of tearing up a little bit. I mean, it's part of my work. It's part of. It becomes part of me when I'm driving this thing. You know, it becomes me. And I don't know. It's hard, but you gotta do what you gotta do. So, all right, golf cart, not golf cart. All right, ATV. Thank you. Thank you for taking me around. We're gonna go on the bridge over here. I think we went on this bridge three years ago. I don't know if we told you that this year, Sal got stung by yellow jackets. Twice. Twice on this bridge. I'll it was on you. July 3rd, but I don't think we mentioned it. The yellow jacket nest was like right up here somewhere. Right over here. Over here? Yeah, I, all I did was walk by and I got stung twice. Yeah, it was right, right right, over here. Attached to one of these things. Oh, it was attached to... <gasps> what? No, let's just... What? The view. What? The view. It's like... Oh. I'm kind of getting a little bit... He's uh, a little nervous because of the height. Kind of far down, yeah. I try not to look down. <laughs> I don't think <laughs> I'm afraid of heights. This reminds me of Chester. We were walking on this bridge two years ago and then we had to say bye to Chester. And then Chester ended up saying bye to us. Yeah. For good. Yeah. Here, this brings us out into a suction. We came off the bridge. And it brings us off into a suction here. And then we're going to Go up back up to the road and then we'll walk up to our section which probably have a good half a mile or more to walk. That was a nice little walk. Yeah. Maybe a mile and a half. I enjoyed that. You really enjoyed that walk, didn't I you? I did. It wasn't that cold. I was afraid it was going to be cold. It's 50 degrees. I, think I had re regretted buying my, bringing my, not bringing my hat. What's that? It got warmer, I think. As we were walking, it started getting warmer. Yeah, I think we got warmer. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> so... We took the golf cart back, the ATV. Now we're one step closer to being able to leave. We are just waiting on a few things and then we should be ready to go.